Hello, I'm a film and artist, and this is the Doodle Shape Challenge. So over at One Hour One Sketch via Twitter, we've got this little Doodle Challenge where artists of all mediums and skill levels will just come together and create something based off a shape. This is the magic pen and it will draw the next shape at the end of the video. But for now, I'm going to show some of the process behind the last sketch. So doodle challenge number one. Well, we've done one before this, but we'll make this the official first one. The first one was just a practice. It was a good shape, this one. I enjoyed it. Best thing about it was as soon as I seen it, I thought underneath, at the very bottom of the shape, I could just instantly see some eyes. So I went with that. That's the first thing I went with. I didn't know what I was going to do. I just knew I was going to make eyes. But then the more I actually looked at the shape, I could see those little robots from the 80s film called Batteries Not Included. Do you remember that film? That was a great film. I thought I could do some little fan art of the robots. But then as soon as I did it, it just didn't work. It, it didn't work. The, the peak of his head, it looked more like a vampire. So I played with the idea of making it a little vampire. The best thing about this doodle challenge has been usually when I work with on client work, I sketch, show it to the client, sketch, show it to the client, and then once myself and the client's happy with it, that's when we bring stuff into Illustrator. But the beauty of this doodle challenge has been I can just play with shapes and I've completely out of my comfort zone because usually, like I said, I work from sketches and then I tweak from the sketches, but it's been a fun exercise and I've enjoyed it and I'm looking forward to next week's one. So this sword, you might have noticed the way he made it smaller. That's because when it was big, it, for some reason, he looked less cute. It was, it was weird. So I made, I made it smaller. I made it smaller and then once I made it smaller, he looked a lot cuter. So to make him look a bit more tough, I gave him little claws. Can you see his little claws? And I added a few little details to his sword. But the, the sharpness of those little dints in a sword, it didn't really work. So instead I went for little circular ones and it seemed to make it look a bit more slick. I think that's the word I should use for it, slick. It's because there was a lot of straight edges and just having a nice curved edge, it just made it look a lot nicer on the eye. So because I recorded this live on Twitch, a few of the, the folks in chat was, were saying I should make it a king. A king of aliens and I like that idea so I kind of just played with the idea of just making it like a little alien a little alien warrior for extra cuteness I added on some little freckles and then I kind of thought it might it look a bit like skin like with animals and aliens when they have like scaly skin so I kind of tried to make it look like a combination of them both. It's wherever you perceive it as. It's only a doodle. It's only a doodle. So just like a sword and shield, I wanted it to look like he's seen a bit of action. So underneath his eye, I thought it would be a good idea just to have a little... Just make a little nice little scar, a little war wound, just to show he's seen... He's seen some fights, he's seen some action. So this is what it looked like before, this is what it looked like after. So at this point, I'm happy with it. But what's a king without a cape? So we just doodled a nice little cape in there. now he needs a name so I asked the folks watching on Twitch what should we call him and the first name that got suggested was perfect it was Wart he just looks like Wart so folks meet Wart I am Wart so enough about my work each week I want to share my three favorite pieces this one I love it I love it if Deezer has done such a great job on this one love how she's managed to make a little island out of the shape. Fantastic. Awesome. Another one is from St. Dirk. This one made me laugh. It's creative. Creative. If, you, if you've been on the internet, you might have seen this character pop up quite a few times. Great job, Dirk. Splimmy. Look at this character. Oh, he's just awesome. It just made me laugh as soon as I seen it. Put a big smile on my face. These are all just awesome. Great job, folks. Love them all. Love them all.
So, let's find out what the next doodle shape's gonna be. Oh, ho! Are you gonna draw us the next doodle shape? Hmm, nice. That's a good one. Hmm. So, if you wanna take part in doodle on the shape, all the information will be in the description below. And don't forget to tweet at one hour one sketch and use the hashtag doodle shapes just so that way I can retweet it for you. There'll also be a link to the Discord and it's got all the other artists in there taking part. It's pretty awesome. They also share like work in progress for other projects. It's pretty ace. So all my social medias are at a form an artist. I'm at a form an artist everywhere. Hmm. Ace. Okay, bye. Bye bye bye.